Well, we are having a much better time of it, it seems like. We woke up this early this morning and it has been nice ever since. Yeah, it really has. Some cooler weather's moved in, lower humidity levels, and that combination this time of year, guys, you can't get that that often around here. No kidding. It looks like it's going to continue for the next several days. Warm, but not overly humid mm -hmm. here as we move through the rest of the work week. Let's get started, though, and we can show you we are tracking a few showers still ongoing across central Oklahoma. These have been dropping off to the southeast and slowly weakening, so right around and just to the west of the Oklahoma City area, we're seeing some of these showers. They're going to drop towards Paul's Valley and the Arbuckles of South Central Oklahoma and continue to weaken here over the next few hours. So if you have any travel plans down toward the Oklahoma City area or maybe down towards Dallas, you may run into a few of these showers here for the next couple of hours. Otherwise, we expect fairly quiet conditions here in eastern Oklahoma and southeast Kansas, and we desperately need the rainfall. So far for the month, officially about an inch and three quarters of rainfall for the year. We're at 16.86. The average through today should be approaching 24 inches of rain, so that deficit now, almost seven inches of rainfall. Last year through today, we had already picked up about 29 inches of rainfall, so you can tell much drier start to the year this year compared to where we were in 2017. Air Comfort Solutions, Brookside Camera looking off to the north, seeing a little bit of high cloudiness out there, partly cloudy sky and temperatures in the mid 80s. Humidity level at 51%. That dew point in the mid 60s. Remember last week at this time it was in the low to mid 70s. So the moisture content in the air a little bit lower. So at least a little bit more manageable if you have any outdoor plans through the day. And that northeast wind at 8 miles per hour is bringing in the slightly cooler and slightly drier air. And we're going to see those northeast and east winds for most of the work week, which means we're going to keep the humidity levels down a bit. And we're also going to keep the temperatures a little bit closer to average for this time of the year. Only at 79 in Rogers, we're at 84 in Tahlequah, 86 here in the city. Stillwater, you're at 86 degrees. Parts of southeast Oklahoma, for the most part, running low to mid 80s right now, 85 degrees. In McAllister, you throw in the humidity, at least what we're seeing out there right now, feels generally like the mid to upper 80s in many locations. A few spots now feels like 90 degrees. Poto, also in Muskogee and Bristow and out in Ponca City area, currently feels like 84 degrees. The hottest of the weather has been pushed down to the south. Temperatures already in the low to mid 90s across most of Texas, and it's going to stay there for most of the week. Now, as we move through the next two or three days, we will see temperatures climb just a little bit, but we're not going to see any triple digit weather here in eastern Oklahoma compared to what we saw at the end of last week. So on future track, we'll see partly cloudy skies, northeast winds at about 5 to 10. So a pretty nice afternoon. It will be warm with temperatures running in the lower 90s, but we'll see partly cloudy skies through the afternoon into the evening hours. Only in the upper 80s for highs. Far northeast Oklahoma, 88 in Grove and Pryor, 89 up in Coffeyville, 92 in Tulsa. Most other areas generally upper 80s to lower 90s. And then we'll see the heat index value not as bad as last week. We were talking about over 110. Today we'll see heat index values between 90 and about 100 degrees. If you're heading toward Oklahoma City, a little bit hotter with that heat index during the afternoon at around 101. Lows tonight dropping back into the 60s, so it's going to be another great start tomorrow morning. And temperatures climbing up to around 93 on your Tuesday afternoon, 94 on Wednesday and Thursday. So even though temperatures will climb over the next three or four days, the humidity levels will continue to drop off. So warm but tolerable as we move through the rest of the week. Then increasing rain chances Friday and especially over the weekend. And look what it does to the highs back into the upper 80s on Sunday, so at least some good news this time of year. Cooler temperatures and rain chances. Mm -hmm. We're going to take both of those here over the next several days. We, we sure are. Yes. Thank you, Looking Tad. Good. Thank you.